And now we have UFC women's strawweight Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie, thank you for joining us today. Okay. Thank you for having me. And we will take the first question with, from Jeff Wagenheim with ESPN. Jeff, please go ahead. Hey Mackenzie, um, I just have one question for you. Is about the uh, the cage you'll be you'll be fighting in uh, as a uh, jujitsu world champion. Uh, I, I, obviously, when you you're gonna you get somebody down to the canvas, uh, that puts you in a position where you can feel real strong. And I and I'm wondering, in a smaller cage uh, than what is typical for the UFC, what do you think about uh, fighting in that smaller smaller octagon? I think it's less um, less space for them to run away, you know. <laughs> so I think it's good for us. Uh, mostly the people that fight me, you know, their strategies like to get in and get out and keep the space. So you know, smaller octagons, less space to run around and be able to take it down. So I'm I'm happier about that. Now I imagine you probably have competed in when you before you came to the UFC in in, in cages that are smaller. Some 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 of the other promotions have littler places, but the UFC octagon, obviously the regular one is 30 feet. And, and so have, did, have you found it to be more challenging to, to get a hold of and, and, and get, and get a grasp on somebody, um, in the bigger cage? I mean, is that something you're, you're thinking this time you maybe won't have to deal with? Yeah, for sure. When it's the bigger ring or rings, you know, octagons, even the inspirings and stuff that I've done in the bigger ones. Uh, yeah, I just saw kind of a lot more chasing, you know, I need to have like my wrestling on point, you know, in jiu-jitsu, we always pull guard. So um, when it's a lot of space and everything, I, I always find myself like in the sparring, like, okay, I have to chase, I have to chase. So um, I think it's going to be a lot better that it's going to be if it's smaller. All right. So no chasing this time, huh? I hope not. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will take the next question from Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Jay, please go ahead. And uh, Mackenzie, I mean, Hannah is not exactly known for a ground game, but she is a, a gritty fighter. So, why don't you just give us uh, your thoughts first of all on the matchup? Yeah, I think she's a tough, really tough girl. You know, um, it's good that she has a lot of fights in the UFC. I was able to watch a lot of her fights, winning and losing. Um, when her, she has like confidence in her coming forward, and when she's kind of not comfortable in the fight and more walking back and stuff like that. So from most of the fights I saw, I saw like, like you said, the ground is kind of her weak, her weakest, weakest point. Uh, and obviously that's my strongest point. So that's definitely going to be the strategy. Um, no secret to that. Um, and then I see a lot like her hands are pretty, pretty heavy, heavy hands. So of course, as long as I don't get knocked out, you know, and, and can stay in there and be able to take it to the ground. I don't want to go to like decision with this fight. Um, I saw a lot of like leg kicks, you know, so if I can catch, you know, one of those legs, take down, I think that's going to be the best, best route to winning. Do you ever have the uh, urge to kind of prove something on the feet? Everybody expects you to take the fight to the ground. Do you ever feel like just standing in there and, and trading a little? Uh, when I when I feel like standing, it's like when I get one punch and I see like a hurt, then I kind of like uh, grow and I say, oh man, it's like working, you know, the stand up. And then I, I'm not even thinking about the fans or my coaches or anything, you know, so I kind of forget like, oh yeah, the strategy is always to go to the ground. But I think that's just natural. Like when you see something's working and you see like, oh, maybe they can get knocked down, you kind of grow on it. But I don't feel anything to prove that everyone's going to always criticize no matter what. So... I don't really like try to prove too much my stand up. The only thing is I really like try to work my stand up a little bit because I think everyone who fights me the whole camp is like just defense uh, ground defense, you know, take down defense. Um, so just want to work my my stand up so they respect my stand up and then make it easier for me to take them down, you know. But um, yeah, I think that's the only reason why I end up doing stand up sometimes and going away from my my jiu-jitsu is because like or i feel their takedowns are so good or um maybe i hit one good one and then i kind of like get too excited you know now i mean i know you've lost before in jiu-jitsu competition but you're coming off your first loss here in mma does that change the motivation for you does it light a fire under you yeah definitely it sucks to lose you know it's my like like i said i've lost before in jiu-jitsu you know but it's way more common that you like can lose 
one day like in the weight class and then in the same day you come and win the absolute division and maybe even fight the same girl that beats you in your own division you know so it's kind of like it you moves on the results you know fast and then in MMA I'm almost like the same amount of time as I was pregnant you know like almost 10 months without fighting and I understand you know like because I lost the priority obviously goes to to the people who are winning you know but um definitely like gives like a fire like man I don't want to be in this situation where like I don't I don't have that much priority anymore you know um you know you want to be able to be the person that you can fight when you want to fight ask for fights and all these things so definitely like you kind of lose a lot of um credibility and stuff like that so it's different to go through that in MMA but for sure I don't want to I don't want to have that anymore you know I, I want to come back on the winning streak and really show all the potential I have and last one for me, I mean, you mentioned your daughter. Does being a mother how change how you look at the uh, pandemic and fighting right now? Because you're not just thinking about yourself now, you're also thinking about her. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, like, I, I thought it was good and bad fighting on during this whole whole situation, you know, the, the coronavirus. Um, I thought it was good because a lot of people are at home, you know, and I thought, like, okay, a lot of people are going to be watching. I think no one really is, has their best like cardio and gas tank right now. So I think it's a lot more technical fights and more uh, best strategy, best technique and things like that. Not necessarily like, oh, the better athlete in the whole rounds and things like that. So I thought this was a good time for me to really show like my potential. But also too, you know, I didn't, I never want to fight like, oh, because, you know, I need to make money. I need to pay the bills. I need to do these things. You know, I have a daughter and I need to, you know, that was never like my intention to get into MMA, you know, I want to do it just because I love to to be fighting and stuff like that. And I've been scheduled to fight since January, was a different opponent, and then it changed to Hannah and then was pushed down to May. So even though I'm happy to be fighting and, and grateful that I'm able to have like these times, uh, it's hard to, you know, because it's like a long camp and then like it's one person and then changed to and it's a, it's different, you know. I wasn't able to bring my daughter with me this time, and I don't know. It's the first time I'm a, I'm away from her, so it was always good to know, like, okay, if I win, if I lose, whatever. My daughter's at the at the hotel waiting for me, you know, and everything. So it's kind of mixed emotions, you know. I'm I'm happy, of course, grateful. Not everyone has like the ability to work right now and everything like that. So for sure, and I'm happy to be able to have a good platform. I think everyone's gonna be watching. I know a lot of people all around the world are watching. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's definitely challenging to get through all this and really show like the best fighter I am, because I think no one who's fighting now is in the best camp possible. All right, Mackenzie, thanks very much for the time. Best luck Saturday. Thank you. We'll take the next, we'll take the next question with, uh, Jim Barcelona with the Miami Herald. Jim, please go ahead. Thank you so much. I'm just curious what your thoughts of this fight and being taking place back in Las Vegas, having UFC back in Las Vegas, how important that is, and just the whole part of this historic card because it is coming back from COVID-19 and being a part of all this. Yeah, I'm really excited, you know, to finally be here. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't sure what was gonna, it was going to happen, you know. Um, I was just waiting until, like, the ticket was in my hands, you know, like, okay, it's going to happen, you know. But, of course, training, because you never know, Dana White is – is crazy you know he makes the things happen anywhere around the world so um i'm really excited that it was able to be in vegas of course vegas like the athletic commission is a little bit more strict than like florida for example for example like i couldn't bring my husband my wife and it's a little bit like a lot of quarantine and, and things like that but um man I, i'm i don't think there's like a better place to have the fights i had my first ufc win here in vegas so i'm really, really excited to be back um, they have the institute here, so I already went, got my massages. Later today, I'm gonna go um, do my training at the institute in the octagon, you know. So it's it's a really good place. I have all my food here with me. They're helping my Morty like on weight today. Um, so it's definitely a good a good place to to go through this whole process. What has the testing process been like too? Because obviously this is all something new to everybody. Yeah, I mean, they, they, the UFC, they really doing such a good job to help all the athletes. You know, I think I forgot a couple of times, like every morning we have to come in and uh, get our temperature taken. And they're like calling me like, hey, it's before 11. I said, oh, shoot, you know, it's 11 or 10.55, you know, and then I'm running down. So, but they're really um, helpful. 
we have our mask, you know, our mask with us all the time. And um, yeah, it's good. Like they put the, the, the swab in our throat this time, as soon as we got from the airport. They said they didn't put on the nose because all the MMA fighters have broken those, so it was a lot harder. <laughs> but um, we have another another throat swab tomorrow after the weigh-ins, and then we're like 24 hours locked down. So it's 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 different. It's definitely different, you know. Of course, I want I wanted to like go and have a good meal after the weigh -in, the weigh-ins and stuff. Even like on a girl standpoint, you know, I do my braids tomorrow, and then I'm gonna be like 24 hours with hair braids in, you know, so I just told them, oh, but I still have like two more trainings that I'll do with my hair, you know, I don't know if we'll be in by the time I fight, you know, and like, hey, that's what we got to do. So, okay, like, okay, let's do it, you know, going to do our best. So, um, it's definitely challenging, but, you know, it's really, it's, everyone is doing a good part of the team, is doing a good job. And Mackenzie, you talked about being a mom, and I hope I have this, the information correctly. Your daughter was born June of last year in 2019. And then you had a fight in October, like four months later, and obviously that didn't go your way. It did go unanimous decision. It went to a decision. Do you feel like it's easier, a little easier now that you've had almost a year, that you've been a mom and trained? I know the COVID put things back, but do you feel like you're getting a better handle now because you were such a new mom, not to make any excuses? No excuses, you know, I mean, definitely I think being a mom is a little bit more natural, you know, like when I'm, I'm not breastfeeding on this time, you know, so that's a little bit um, easier. I think just with Moa, not all the time wanting to be on me, you know, of course, back then she slept a lot more. Now it's like even during the training thing was she's running around, I have to like control her a little bit more, but now she understands, you know, yes, no, and these things. So I think it's definitely, um, and, and because of the coronavirus, we go like the academy and then straight home. So I'm spending way more time with her during camps. I think most of the fighters, they talk, one of the things they talk about is when they have camp, you have like less time with your family and you're kind of more stressed and all these things. And with the coronavirus, it's a little bit um, opposite. You know, I have way more time with her and my husband. So, and I, and I think, yeah, just being a little bit more, um, you know, mature as a mom, it's a lot easier to, to do everything and, and juggle the, uh, training and being a mom. And yeah, we got to get back out there surfing too, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, Huntington Beach where I live, it's just um, the only beach that wasn't closed the whole the whole pandemic time. So we we live on Hunt Be Huntington Beach and able to surf too. So it's crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll take the next question from Adam Hill with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Adam, please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, you know, being more ready now and, and kind of understanding uh, that balance of motherhood and, and fighting and everything else. Do you wish you would have waited longer to take that fight last time? No, definitely not. I, I feel so good with my my decision to have fought then. You know, I know people who get injured, like knee surgeries, and they stay out a long time. And I've never been like, I have knee surgeries before, but in MMA, I never took, since my first MMA fight to my seventh, my eighth fight, my seventh fight was always like every two months I was fighting. So I had never been like a long time away from fighting. It was kind of, everyone saying the ring, the ring rest, you know? I, I don't know if it was like real or not, you know? So I said, man, the sooner I can be back in fighting, the better, you know? And I did everything I could to make sure I didn't, I didn't miss weight since my last fight before being pregnant, I had missed weight. And everyone, oh, of course, after you're pregnant, you're not gonna make weight even more and all these things. So I really dedicated myself 100% to that fight, I was as best prepared possible as I could be. Um, Amanda was just the better fighter that night. And yeah, you know, I, and even though I lost, I was the same thing. I wanted, I kept on like, Nick, like, hey, I want to fight, I want to fight. Give me a fight soon. I'm not injured, nothing, you know, I can go. But then it took like, with everything happening, it's taking a while to be able to get back in. So just to be here, um, I'm happy. I, I would have fought way sooner if I had the opportunity. opportunity. And you were talking about how much different it is to deal with a loss in MMA than in jiu-jitsu because you, you can come back so much quicker, you know, even win that next day. So how how was that process? Like, how long did it take you to kind of accept it and deal with it? And, and, like, what was that time like when you were trying to get over it? Um, I think for me it was okay. Like, the hardest thing, honestly, was just seeing, like, all these people, like, fighting, you know, and, and people – just kind of kept talking about my loss or trying to find maybe like an excuse of why I lost. Like, oh, 
because you came back too soon or oh because you're not the same fighter anymore after being um, pregnant and everything or your body's different or you're not going to be as athletic or you're scared now or just things like that you know for me I, like until today I haven't seen my fight I don't I haven't watched it you know I don't I know I did my best in the fight I just I wasn't able to get the win you know so for me the hardest thing was just be like asking for fights and then seeing all these people fighting you know and I'm like man when it, when are they gonna give me a fight like okay I know I lost but man it wasn't like beat up you know I wasn't like you know knocked out I, I didn't look like I wasn't meant to be there you know like I have so much so much potential so much to prove so I was just like crazy to be back in there cool thank you so much thank you Okay, thank you, Mackenzie. That's all the time we had for you. We appreciate it. Thank you.